Radio folks. Here we have ourselves a rather nice brand new Ram 1500 Laramie. We're gonna get this guy in the shop right now. I'm gonna fit up one of our KM sports muffler assemblies for this truck, which just totally replaces the stock muffler with a high flow sports muffler and just unlocks all that awesome Hemi action. So let's get her in. So if you have a Laramie, this is the same exhaust everyone kind of gets. There are a twin system on the Laramies. I believe you can option the Express to have this exhaust too, but I haven't seen one yet. They're a twin two and a quarter inch tailpipe. They do have a resonator in them on each side, which is great with our setup. It maintains a great note out of the truck, but sort of cuts out those drone issues. Especially if you're towing, this will still work as a towing application. So that's the system up there. It's a twin two and a quarter inch tailpipe. That's the gigantic muffler. And then they are a three inch main pipe back to the uh, the engine pipe, I suppose, and the, and the cat converters up here. Something a few people have mentioned so far is how this reduces into here and how this section flattens off underneath here. I, I don't think that's a huge issue, but there's definitely some power gains to be had when going to a twin three inch system. So yeah, there's always that option too. But for the quick, easy, simple awesomeness, we're gonna change out this muffler for the KM high flow muffler. Check this bad boy out. Now we're gonna go from this steel system here. It's an aluminized steel, but you can already see we're starting to get some rust. There is a weep hole in these mufflers and these EFI systems do have uh, moisture issues. They build up a lot of moisture. So you can see we're starting to get rust coming out of this guy already and down this end too. So this is gonna be a much more long-term solution and it's just, it's beautiful. It sounds incredible. So, we're gonna go ahead and load it up. All it is is as simple as undo these bolts here, which is the stock retainers. The muffler goes back up there on some hangers. So we'll undo these, slip the tailpipes back, muffler comes out. This guy goes back in, they're 15 mils, just the same as these guys here. We keep it all the same, same. Slide that on, we refit our tailpipes to the back here, and hey presto, we're in business. Let's do it. Hey, we're on. All right, set. All right, it's working. This car is a little bit older. It's got like 18,000 Ks on it, so. Nearly there. It's been there a little bit longer. Brand new cars, there's four out. That's us, that's one done. All right. Sick, so that second pipe out, it's just a matter of getting those uh, rubbers at the top. We have a special tools here in the workshop for doing such a thing, but, um, Doing this at home, big pair of multi grips works. If not, a pry bar and lots of lubricant will also get you there. They are a really tight ones, so they will take a little bit. The new one goes on considerably more, you know, easy because it doesn't have big knobs on the end of it. Get that bit out. Right, yo, that guy's out of the way. Get rid of that thing. It's not going to hurt anyone ever again. We well, do need those rubbers, so don't throw them out. It's time for this guy to go in and awesomeness is going to take place. So there is, that's the, your main pipe there, which is 3 inch, which is heaps for this little engine. It's 5.7 litre, which is a pretty big engine, but a big old 3 inch pipe will certainly cater for its needs. Alright. Alright, so we put those rubbers that just came off the old unit back onto this guy. I'm going to slide him up onto here, hook up some rubbers, and he'll just go back in the same place. You can put silicon on these, but they don't have it from the factory, so it's not the end of the world. So if it goes on there. Oh, there we are up in there. Tim's just gonna load those rubbers back up. A lubricant goes a long way with doing this, so make sure you use some CRC or some inox or something. It certainly makes life a lot easier. So we're simply gonna do this guy up here. Tail pipes literally just slide straight back in with these. Yeah, just twist them easy. On the rear rubbers, so we'll put both of those in, do up our bolts, and oh, it's getting exciting time. So 
that's us, finished product guys. It all sits up in there nicely. Our beautiful big KM logo is showing itself off. Tailpipes are back in. There's little locators in your tailpipes. So it just goes into these little guys' touch. We'll leave this little bit here exposed because there's normally a notch in the other piece. But don't worry, this is, this is bedded all the way into here. It's nice, nice seal. You're not gonna have any issues. Replicating the same clamps the stock system has, so it's all really super neat. So yes. I'm super excited, man. I'm gonna bring this thing down and start it up.
probably can't hear a whole lot. I can slightly hear the exhaust in the background. We're just sort of cruising at low speeds. Absolutely no drone, but when you put your foot down, that's when you really get it. You get that wicked, wicked, just hemi. It just slaps you, man. It's good. Here we go. Here we go. So that's about it. It's about as loud as it gets inside the car. It's considerably louder than that outside the car. And, um, and these things got such a fantastic gearbox and so much good body deadening as well. When you get out on the highway, you barely even know it's got an exhaust on it. Really is. It doesn't change the. Like, it's such a nice truck to drive. It doesn't really change any of that. It maintains it. So that's us. Keep on cruising, I think. Go for a bit of a drive.